You can often find GCSE sequence questions which look like this, where there's a multiplication. Your answer will be a multiplication. You will get two numbers like that. Often pupils will just write a single number at the end. This question looks a lot more difficult, but really all it is is two sequences combined. We still have a first term, a second term, a third term, and a fourth term. Now we've got to find a rule which will change this number to this number, this one to this one, and this one to this one. But we also need to find a rule which will change this one to this one, this one to this one, and this one to this one. So really there's two sequences in one question. So we've got to find, let's look at the first set of numbers, the one on the left. We've got to find the rule for the sequence, the nth term, the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, and hopefully you should recognise that. Now our next number would be 10. So the first term is 2, the second term is 4, the third term is 6, and the fourth term is 8. So to get the fifth term, I would do times by 2. So the rule is 2n. I multiply the term number, these numbers up here, by 2. So the one on the left will be 2n. <clears throat> right, now we've got a second sequence on the other side. And it goes 1, 3, 5, 7. So we've got to find the rule that makes this sequence. So the first term is 1, the second term is 3, the third term is 5, and the fourth term is 7. So I want to I want to look at how this sequence changes. This one's not as obvious. And this one changes by adding 2. So if it's add 2, then we must know it must be multiplied by 2. So 2n must be the rule. But this is not the same sequence as the last one. Because 2 times the first number in the sequence doesn't get me 1. 2 times 1 is not 1. The second number in the sequence is 3. 2 times 2 is not 3. The third number in the sequence is 5. 2 times 3 is not 5. Okay, so the first one, 2 times 1, is 2. But I need to get an answer of 1. So I must have to do 2n, because we know because it goes it adds 2, we know it must be 2n. And maybe take away 1. Let's try it for the second term in the sequence, 3. 2 times 2 is 4. Take away 1, gets me 3. The third number in sequence is 5, so 2 times 3 is 6, take away 1 is 5. So my rule for this sequence is 2n times 2n minus 1. Slightly more complicated, but it's two sequences put together. Uh, the second, part B, is like the questions I did in my last video. This one changes by going up in 5s, so it's add 5. Okay. If it's add 5, that means we must be doing 5 times n. That's the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So 1 times 5 is 5, but that doesn't get me anywhere near 14. 1 times 5, I've got to do something else and get an answer of 14. Well, 1 times 5 is 5, we're going to have to add something. I'm going to have to add... 9. Does that work for 2? 2 times 5 plus 9. Hopefully you should get us 19. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 9 is 19. So my rule is 5n plus 9. Okay, have a go at this one. So press pause in the video and then I'll give you the answers once you've got it done. Okay, so looking at the numbers on the left of the multiplying sign, we've got 1, then 2 is the second term, 3 is the third term, and 4 is the fourth term. It's not very good, 4. Okay, so 1 is the first term, 2 is the second term, 3 is the fourth term, 4 is the fourth term, that's going up in 1s, so that's add 1. Each step is add 1 in that sequence, so that means we're multiplying by 1. And we don't need to do anything else. So really, all you've got there is 1 times n. Or, just n. 
ones on the right hand side, slightly trickier, you've got three is the first term, then you've got four, then you've got five, and then you've got six. So we have a sequence that goes three, four, five, six. So the first term is three, the second term is four, the third term is five, and the fourth term is six. We need to try and find an nth term. So this also goes up in by adding one. So it's got to be n something, one times n, just n. But that's not going to be enough, because one multiplied by one is not three. It doesn't get us three. So we're going to have to do something else. We're going to have to add something. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. One plus, if I can draw a plus, two will get us the answer. So that, try and draw a better plus sign than me in your exam. It's n plus two for the second side. Okay, the second term, just check. Second term, two plus two is four. Three plus two is five. Four plus two is six. Okay, in part B, you can see this sequence goes up in sevens. So what have we got to do? That must mean it's 7n. Now, if I do 1 times 7, I don't get 3. If I do 2 times 7, I don't get 10. If I do 3 times 7, I don't get 17. So 7 times 1. I'm going to have to do something else to it because I want to get an answer of 3. 7 times 1 is 7. I'm going to have to take away 4 there. Check it works with the second term in the sequence. So 7 times 2, uh, take away 4, hopefully, will give me an answer of 10. 7 times 2 is 14, take away 4 is 10. You know you've got that right. You've got 7n, take away 4. Okay, let's try another question. Now, it seems before, have another go at this question. Press pause, try it yourself, and then I'll give you the answer. Okay, let's swap the questions around this time. So a normal nth term question, what does it change by each time? Okay, it's changing by the same amount, so it's going up in fours. That means we must be doing four times n. Okay, the first term is one, the second term is two, the third term, sorry, the second term is five, the third term is nine, the fourth term is thirteen, the fifth term is seventeen. So we've got to find a rule that changes all of those. Now we know because it goes up in fours, it must be four times n and something else. So if I've got the first term, I'm going to have to do four times one, do something else to it, and get an answer of one. So we could do four times one is four, and then we're going to have to take away something. We'll have to take away three. Now does that work for the second term? You need to check. Uh, so second term, four times the second term, so that's two we think it's take away 3 and we hopefully will get an answer of 5. 4 times 2 is 8, take away 3 is 5. You know you're right, so the rule must be mop 4 times n, take away 3. Or, to write it slightly better, 4n, take away 3. Right, this is like the ones we've been doing. Okay, you've got two sequences. We've got 2, looking at the numbers on the left, 3, Four, five, and our other sequence is four, five, six, seven. Two quite simple sequences. Let's take a look at the one the left the num left hand side numbers first. <coughs> Remember your answer will have a multiply sign in between it. So don't write an answer of the two numbers multiplied together. Right, this one is add 1 each step. Okay, it's add 1. That's a 1, not a 7. I'm just drawn. So it's going to be n. Okay, so it's going to be 1n, or just n. Now, the first term is 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. But that doesn't give me an answer of 2. 2 times the second term, 2, times 1 doesn't get me 3. And so on. So I need to do something else to it. The simple answer there is just to add 1. To the term number 1 plus 1 is 2 gets us that number 2 add 1 gets us the number in the sequence 3 add 1 gets us 4 so our rule is n plus 1 oh dear that's the polling that right 
Second number, four, five, six, seven. Okay, first term, second term, third term, fourth term. This one's also add one. So it's going up in ones. So that means the rule must be n something. So how do we change one into four? We know it's multiplied by one, so what have we got to add to it? Because it's got to go up. It must be add three. Does that work? Is it n plus three? Is it as simple as that? The second term is two. Two plus three gets us five. Three plus three gets us six. Four plus three gets us seven. So the second part, the right hand side, is n plus three.